I am so uncomfortable. I'm talking. Part of the boys. Come into the dungeon. We boys in TNO and welcome back to another video. Now today we have a very special guest with us. Don't scare Claire. We'll put her link in the video, somewhere down here or up here. Go check her channel out, she has some great stuff. Now tonight we're at Strelly Hall over in Nottingham and we purposely haven't done any history on the place. So we're gonna leave that to Claire. So over to you Claire. And so we've got records of this site dating all the way back to the 1200s when the lands were gifted to a Walter de Strelly. And he decided that this was going to be the family seat of the Strellies, so he actually built a castle. And for all intents and purposes, it was a proper looking castle, it had walls a metre thick, it had turrets in each corner of the building, and it even had a dungeon below, allegedly. And so this became the ancestral home of the Strellies, and it passed down through the generations until 1678 when Nicola Strelly owned it. But not for long. Because Nicola Strelly would actually be the last Strelly to live in the castle. There are a few stories as to how he ended up losing the estate. The first one is that he was a big gambler, he was a proper gambling man, and he would put money down on anything, and one night he was playing cards, and he'd run out of money, but he could tell that his win was like just around the corner. So he decided to put the deed to the estate on the table, and lost everything to a lawyer called Ralph Edge. But the second version of the story is that the Strellies were Catholics. In a time in England where it was not good to be a Catholic, you could literally just get fined for practicing your religion. And so because of this, there were that many fines that were given to the Strellies that they ran out of money and the only way that they could pay their lawyers legal fees was to gift him the castle. The third version of the story is kind of along those lines in that it wasn't because they were Catholics, but it was because they were royalists. Obviously the Royalists in the English Civil War didn't come out too well. Again, anyone that was known as a Royalist sympathiser were slapped with massive fines. And so with no way to pay these fines, the Strellies had to sell their family home. Whichever version of the story it is though, the fact is that in 1678, the Strellies left Strelly Hall. And it was the Edge family who would now take over. And so by the 1780s, the Edges had completely rebuilt the castle into not a castle anymore, it's the Georgian stately home that we can see today. And so again, just like the Strellies, the Edges carried on living in this house, generation after generation took it on, until 1978 when the last Edge family member died. And there was a little bit of family drama around this as to how she came to be the last Edge family member here. Because when her father died in 1931, he kind of booked the trend. He didn't actually leave all of his earthly possessions to his eldest son, which was the dumb thing at the time, because he'd had a falling out with his eldest son, because he'd had the audacity to marry a suffragette, which was absolutely no-no for your reputation, and there, there could not be a way for the man of Strelly Hall to be married to such a woman. Bearing in mind, the women had got the right to vote in 1918, and he didn't die until 1931, so he was literally just holding a grudge at this point, but Whatever the reason, he actually left the hall in a trust for his daughter, Emily Mary Edge, with a couple of conditions. So the first condition was that she had to keep her Edge name. She couldn't change her name. And so the second condition was also that she couldn't get married. But thinking about it by extension of that, with the attitudes of the time, that would mean that she couldn't have children because obviously she couldn't get married. And so Emily Mary Edge lived at the hall alone until she died in 1978. By that point though, none of the surviving Edge family members wanted to take the hall on because it was such a huge cost to keep it running. And so that's how Strelly Hall was put on the market. And so today now it's got a cafe in the stable block, there are offices in some of the rooms. It's, it's run like a kind of little business center, but then of course it can also be hired out at night for paranormal investigations. It was said that after he'd lost the house, the servants of the Edges would see the figure of Nicholas peering in through the windows. And it was said that this happened so often and freaked the servants out so much that some of them went mad and actually killed themselves because of it. And so that, to me, that story seemed a bit sensational, but that was the story. And so the second story around this hall concerns the room that I'm in right now, which is the castle room. And it's said that Nicholas Strelly sometimes haunts this area. 
It said that he's sometimes accompanied by quite a negative energy and if you bring out a pack of playing cards then the atmosphere gets absolutely awful in here because allegedly that was the reason that he lost the haul even though we don't think that anymore but there you go. And so if you do bring some playing cards out in this room there is said to be some sort of poltergeist activity although I don't really know what it is. So the staircase is also known as quite an active area with its very own lady in white. We don't know who she is, but she is seen walking on the stairs. There have also been reports of people seeing children playing on the stairs, and you can sometimes hear their disembodied laughter. The panelled room is also sometimes a good place to check out, as the apparition of a tall gentleman has been seen leaning up against the fireplace. So I can't talk about the castle without talking about the cellar. It is written down on the plans as a dungeon, but we don't know if it was actually used as a dungeon. It might have just been someone being a bit creative with the plans. But then the story goes that there were people imprisoned down there in the 19th century for poaching on the estate, but we just don't have any evidence of it. There is apparently the figure of a tall dark man seen down there, and he's known only as the Watchman. He's said to be quite a malevolent entity, and you can hear his footsteps walking down in the hallways. And if you see him, he will be a tall, dark shadow carrying a lantern. So throughout the research for this one, while I was reading all of these stories online, I wasn't 100% convinced about this place. I know a lot of paranormal teams have come here and they've experienced something, and like I say a lot on my channel, like I wasn't there when these things happened, I didn't know what you did or didn't experience, but I'm just going to be very interested to see what we do capture, if we capture anything. Because yeah, like it would be brilliant if I could be proven wrong. Right, Claire's just done an intro for us with a lot of information. She knows a lot. <laughs> um, unfortunately, she's divulged information about the dungeon where I'm going to be spending the night by myself, so thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, she has said that she's, you know, speculative of the research, I which am. is fine. Yeah. Um, hopefully we can answer some questions for her tonight and we get a lot of activity. If I get it right, first, first timings. I can't, I can't believe I've got to come down here, man. Yeah, it's tremendous, bro. Lights off as well. <laughs> oh, fuck me, bro. It's fucking massive, isn't it? Yeah, with that in the background. Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me? What? Walking down there? Yeah, if I walk towards you, say I go from that yellow thing, or we'll yeah. walk back, that's quite a good fucking background bit. Okay. Can I walk more? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> bro, I don't, I don't even think I can walk down that way. <laughs> I can't do this, bro. <laughs> bro, that looks horrendous. I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. Some of the walked in the corridor. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, it's there anyone there? there? Did you not hear that? No. It was like this. You don't put it like this, right? Yeah. But did you hear it down there? Down there. Before you, uh, do you want to turn around? Tell the camera what you're doing, mate. No, I'm going to do one. I've got the camera. Right, and how he's shafting himself on Facebook. Please. So basically, Luke put a poll on Facebook, right, to see who the community wanted to see go down in the dungeon on their own. Now, if anyone's actually seen our videos, they'll know Luke can get a little bit scared. So, yeah. he, so, he's, so, put, so he's put the poll on. And who's everyone voted for? Luke. So now he's got to go down to the dungeon. How many votes? Yeah, I think that's a lot. It was like 55% of the yeah. votes. Yeah, yeah, he's literally won them all. <laughs> right, let's turn these, turn these lights off. We go from here, what's the name? Yeah. Let's turn these lights off.
that one. Hey, do we turn the lights off there now? There we go. Off the middle of the Hey, get yourself out of that, lad. Oh my fucking god, my brother in the mouth. No shot, brother. No, look at this. Nah, that's heart attack boards, that is not. It's black in there. Go down to the bottom. Mate, that's boiled, bro. It's black. Two laugh, nah. Oh my god, I can't even see you! Mate, Mike, that's uncomfortable, bro. Nah. That is horrendous. Go on, come on then. We'll come on then. We'll escort you down. <laughs> yeah, we should. <laughs> we come the watchman. Oh, you know the fucking sound of the chair. Oh, no. Uh, straight. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, Did we turn all the lights off? Yeah. Yeah, it flicked off the main switch. Okay, right, so if you want the lights on, you've got to come all the way back. I've got to come all the way back. Oh my god. Bro, this is this is ridiculous. Luke, you know what's worse? Don't, man. There's doors in between every yeah. single thing. So if you scream, it won't hear you. Yeah, you're literally not going to hear it at all. <laughs> This is one with the fr flickering light now. Yeah. Oh, that's mint. Have a look. Lads, Wait, lads. You know what I'd do if I was you? I swear to God, you know what I'd do? I'd quit. <laughs> <laughs> Paranormal would just take from me. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Take the torch. Go oh. fuck yourself. <laughs> I'd even hand my hoodie back. <laughs> I like my hoodie. Just turn your light, that's it. Oh, turn it off. Turn your light off. Bro. <laughs> You've got the exit sign on. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, we're going to do the room. We're going to start off downstairs. Are we going to leave fully in here? Yes. You can't do that to me. You, you're fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's your idea. It's your idea. He's coming to shut you in the foot. I mean, leaving me down there just like you would have done with me. So go on, eh? Nice shirt. Let's go Well, well, you got what you asked for. I'm now down here alone in the dungeon, <laughs> and I'm absolutely bricking it. I am uncomfortable. I don't think you see if the camera's shaking, Jesus Christ. This is vile. Absolutely vile. To all the people who voted, fuck you. Sorry for the language YouTube, but fuck you. Right. Is anybody down here with me? Does anybody like to wish to communicate with me? What a weird place, man. Right. Luke's down in the cellar on his own. How long have we told him to stay down there for? I just said, do as long as you basically following us in a minute, man. Where's the next song? Where do you want to start? We've got a rear, haven't we? Once we get in there. Yeah, let's go in there.
Oh. I, I can feel the panic through the floors. <laughs> From him. Yeah. From him. 100%. I've been told the watchman walks down here. Is there anybody down here with me? Make a noise. Can you knock? Can I hear the footsteps I heard earlier? Pounding out my chest. Jesus. <sighs> oh, I'm uncomfortable. I am so uncomfortable. And if anybody ever says anything, oh, you're a bit of a, a, bit of a wimp and that, come do this. I'm literally in a dungeon that's probably what 200 feet long back upstairs four meters deep It is not nice down here, at all. I am shaking like a fucking leaf. Again, I'll ask, is anybody down here? Any spirits that walk these halls, this dungeon? Come forward. I'm not dangerous, I'm not harmful, I'm friendly. Okay, what was that? And um, yeah, there are a few versions of the story. Okay, cool. So, what was that? I think that was Luke. Cool, but... Go say it to me quick. What was that? Looks like there. No, that sounded like that heavy door. It did, didn't it? I thought it was you, Lock. What are you doing with you? I've been down here. That's what I mean, that's why we've come down. Yeah, you're coming back up. You thought you were running? No, I've been stopping stood here. You alright? <laughs> you alright? <laughs> <laughs> I've been calling out, not much has happened. Ah, uh, give yourself another half hour. Fuck off. Hello, I've been down here. What, 10 minutes? I don't know if that wasn't, because it's not there's two of them, it's I thought it was you, Lock, coming down. It sounded right. like this door to me. Yeah, it sounded like one of these doors closed, that's why we come down. Because, like, oh, quick, go check on him, he might be dead. We're trying to find your way out. <laughs> <laughs> trying to find your way out. Right, we'll leave you for another... It's ten past ten now, so just do another ten minutes or something. Okay. Alright. Bye!
Bye. Ready for the door. What the fuck? So they've heard a door. I heard the door, but I thought it was them, and they thought it was me. But as you can see on the camera, I was stood here. Interesting. Interesting. When I count down here, really, Connor, I'm 100%, and I've got it on camera. I've, I've, it's the audio is not the best through the camera. I need to sit on the PC with Mitchell, but the the footsteps are so clear. It's unbelievable. Me and Connor have stood still in this exact spot, and you can you can just hear shuffling, like someone running. The man with the lantern, you've been seen a few times down here. I've just got a shiver. Pat! I've said that. Oh god. If there's nobody down here, they must all be upstairs with everybody else. Oh fuck. If that was you, can you do that again? Can you make that tapping noise again? Okay, that was, I don't know if the camera's got that, that's definitely a tap. Thank you for doing that, can you do it one more time to confirm? I don't know, I don't, I don't know if the mic's picking this up, and I'm, I don't, I'm not fucking going down there, I'm not going down there. I am not going down there. This is what I'm working with, look. I don't know if you can see, but it's that, that, that's how fucking dark it is. Okay, you, you, you. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I'm trying everything not to leave here, I'm honestly, because it's fuck. I heard a tap here. I heard that. Give them doors or not behind you. That sounds like it's underneath us. Nah, that sounds above. It's the offices that are above us all. The offices Look, are above us. That's not walking. Dum 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 dum. Like a heartbeat. Do you know what it sounds like? Huh? Jumanja. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds like a dum 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 dum. There's the, 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 stair, the stairs no, up no, there. Yeah, so. no, no. yeah, it's obviously the boss. Yeah. That's too. That's well, yeah, because we don't know where. Um, what's his name, Richard? Where he is. Where do, we don't know where he is. Where he lives. But if, if you look, if you look outside, there's there's, fucking, there's loads of out outbuilding. I don't know. If there's a spirit called Nicholas Strelly. That still resides in this building. Can you come forward and talk to us? Make a noise. You're not tracked, he said that. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it come from. Yeah. If there is any spirits here, could you and you hear this sound, could you copy me?
Yes, I am looking beyond me. And I will keep checking. So now we're, just, we're all going to do a little investigation down in the uh, dungeon. So Luke done his little solo investigation down there. So he was hitting some taps on the queue. So now we're going to carry on down there, see if we can get some paranormal activity. If the watchman is down here, we're coming to talk to you. Anyone said that that's where they were shackled up on the wall. One there, one there. You saw me talking a cellar or a dungeon or something, you just instant fear comes over you, don't I think it's just because it's just so old and eerie, isn't it? It's just it's like underground. It's underground, it's claustrophobic. One way in, one way out. We had another one, it was just like so much quieter. Yeah. But obviously, when it went off, it's still horrible. That. We haven't had that one go off yet, have no. we? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. There's a smoke down there, it's my vape. Couple's going up there, couple's going up there. Can you make that go off again, please? Can you make one of the lights turn on the floor, please? Are you going to use touchy? Okay. There's a watchman down here with us. If you are, can you make the candle go off? Or make a noise? Which one went off? If I want This one? If it was faulty, I'd be doing the. No, I know, yeah, I just know one of them was a bit faulty, isn't it? But I've got the other two, man. I think, okay. I, I, think I threw the lights with one. Did you? About four left, huh? How many did you have? Six. Eight. I do, really. Mm -hmm. So much more nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone off again. It's gone off again. It's on concrete as well. So vibrations ain't gonna do that. No, no. Might have had that on wooden floors walking next to it and moved. Can you push it? Claire, what's your, what's your thoughts on cat balls? We're a bit like... We, we just don't know about them. Yeah, it's... So what would happen if you swapped that? I'm just thinking that. Yeah. Might swap it over. What am I going to do? Yeah, I'll watch this one. Oh, God. What? Oh, it's a bit down there. So I thought, what was it? Like a click? Yeah. You both hear it? Yeah. Past the phone or something. When you say like a door click. Look okay, look okay. That's what, that's what I was hearing. That's what was on cue. When I was asking, I was stood here where Connor is and I was saying, can you make a noise? And it happened. Make, make a noise, did it again. Make a noise. On the third time he did it and then I had a louder one here. It's the exact same noises. S still going off. You swapped it. Yeah, we swapped it. She is. You're not the sign as well, the big head. Probably not. <laughs> Fucking hell. Got this initial test in the ground. <laughs> Can you roll the call out? Is Nicholas Strelly here with us? I'm in my 60s. Jeff. Again? That's twice now. Mm. Is Jeff here with us? Yeah. Oh my god, you moved it as well, look. Jeff, is that you lighting that up? If I'm speaking to you, Jeff, could you make a noise for us? Give us some sort of sign where you are. 
I've been watching you. It's funny how <clears throat> for the whole night we haven't had no K2 activity at all, really. No. And then. And not even when we had it in here. No, exactly. Yeah. Nothing was in there. Dead. Are you down on that table? Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? The boat just gone off. The boat. Yeah. Jeff, can you leave that one and go to the other one? Not that one. The one behind it. Can you walk to the other one if you're there? It is, it's just to. Yeah. Oh my god. Thank you. Francis, Jeff, or the little girl who likes to sing. Or Nicholas. Or the lady in white. Oh, both from one of them. Both of them. Yeah. Nice, and that one got once. Yeah. The other one was like. It's just one. like the one yeah. light. Yeah. Right, so, what's the stories on this? Stick these stairs, go. So, there's apparently a lady in white seen on the stairs, and there's also apparently been figures. You stupid! Don't uh, do that, man. You smashed the window. Oh, she's down. nearly fucking gone down there. Sorry, Claire, what was you saying? Uh, yeah, there's been figures of children seen and heard. But then also people will like come up here and get the uncontrollable urge to jump off. Oh, really? Right, so there's the walk. Have you heard that, <laughs> that yet? No. <laughs> Not quite. It's it's quite a, it. Yeah, it is. It's it's quite low banisters as well, really. Is there any spirits? Are on these staircases that hold these stairs. Is there any children that hold these stairs? Is the lady in white with us? Could you show yourself? Would you really love to meet you? Half one. So it's one thirty in the morning. Yeah. Morning. We've just done a few investigations around the building. Uh, had a few little hits on K twos and a bit of intelligent responses, wasn't it? Yeah. So we've done the old fashioned split up. Um, look for clues. Yeah, look for clues. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Riggy have made the stupid decisions come down the dungeons on our own, mm -hmm. and Claire Connor. And Luke have stayed upstairs, so we've dedicated 15 minutes down there, so we'll see how it goes on it. Yeah, it might be 15 minutes too long, but we'll might, see. might be five minutes on it, but we'll find <laughs> out. Anything happens, yeah. we don't move. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Tell yourself that. I'm just, well, I'm In a king stomper. King stomper. Right. Spirits, we're back. Just me and Josh this time. Oh, God. Oh, uh, so. I'm you, I hope you've been waiting for us. Shh. I think 
そう言うのCan the watchman come forward, please? Was that the door? Someone down there. I oh, heard someone talking. You one hundred percent. We both just, we both just looked, looked at your room, the room point. You, we yeah. both just went. Wow. Thanks for tuning in and watching our latest investigation video at Shirley Hall. We'd like to give a massive shout out and a big thank you to Don't Scare Claire, who joined us on our paranormal investigation. If you could leave a like, comment and subscribe, it really helps our channel grow. We're ITU and we'll see you in the next video.